Today, we're diving into the warning lights that actually matter, the ones that don't just nag you about washer fluid, but threaten to turn your car into a very expensive paperweight. From overheating engines to dead alternators, these are the dashboard icons that separate a quick fix from calling a tow truck and googling cheapest used Honda near me. Let's break them down before your wallet starts sweating. Starting with the check engine light, also known as CEL, that innocent yellow engine outline that haunts the dreams of car owners everywhere, the check engine light is is automotive anxiety incarnate. This little demon first appeared in the 1980s, when the government decided cars needed to snitch on themselves through something called OBD systems. Originally, it was just a basic idiot light that told you absolutely nothing useful, kind of like having a friend who says something's wrong and then walks away. The early versions were glorified panic buttons that sent people scrambling to mechanics who would charge 50 bucks just to tell you it might be your gas cap. Fast forward to today, and the check engine light has evolved into a sophisticated tattletale that can pinpoint exactly what's making your car cranky, assuming you have the right scanner and know how to speak computer. Modern OBD2 systems can detect everything from a loose gas cap to a dying catalytic converter, though the light itself still looks exactly the same, whether your engine is about to explode or you just forgot to tighten your fuel cap properly. The most common culprits behind this automotive anxiety attack include that infamous loose gas cap, which probably accounts for about 30% percent of all check engine light panic attacks. Engine misfires that make your car feel like it's having hiccups. Failing oxygen sensors that can't figure out if your engine is running rich or lean. Catalytic converter issues that turn your exhaust system into an expensive paperweight. And vacuum leaks that make your engine suck air from places it shouldn't. The fix is surprisingly straightforward if you follow the golden rule of check engine lights, which is to always check and tighten your gas cap first, because there's nothing more embarrassing than paying a mechanic to tell you that your fuel cap was loose. If the light stubbornly refuses to go away after the gas cap ritual, you'll need to scan the system with an OBD2 scanner, which you can buy for 20 bucks online, or borrow from most auto parts stores, who will scan it for free, hoping you'll buy parts from them. Depending on what codes pop up, you might need to replace spark plugs that have given up the ghost, ignition coils that are tired of sparking, oxygen sensors that have lost their sense of smell, or, in the worst case scenario, a catalytic converter that costs more than your car is worth. Oil pressure warning. This old school oil can with a drip is the automotive equivalent of your engine screaming for help, and unlike the check engine light's passive aggressive yellow glow, this red warning means business. The oil pressure warning system dates back to the early days of automotive engineering, when engineers realized that engines without proper lubrication turn into expensive boat anchors remarkably quickly. Originally, cars used actual oil pressure gauges that showed you exactly what was happening, but modern cars have dumbed this down to a simple on-off warning light because apparently we can't be trusted with actual information. The light triggers when oil pressure drops below the minimum threshold needed to keep all those spinning metal parts from welding themselves together in a spectacular display of mechanical destruction. This warning means your engine isn't getting enough oil pressure to lubricate itself properly, which is like trying trying to run a marathon without water in the desert. The causes range from the simple and fixable to the catastrophic and wallet emptying, starting with low oil levels because someone forgot that engines actually consume oil and need regular top-ups, a failing oil pump that's supposed to circulate oil but has decided to take an early retirement, a clogged oil filter that's blocking oil flow like a stubborn traffic jam, or worn engine bearings that have created enough clearance to drop oil pressure to dangerous levels. When this light comes on, the fix is brutally simple but critically important. Stop driving immediately, because every second you continue running the engine brings you closer to a complete engine rebuild. Check your oil level first, and if it's low, add oil and pray that solves the problem. If the light stays on, even with proper oil levels, you need to tow your car to a shop, because driving with low oil pressure is like playing Russian roulette with your engine, except all the chambers are loaded and the prize is a $5,000 engine replacement. Coolant temperature warning. That thermometer sitting in wavy lines is your car's way of telling you it's running hotter than a Phoenix parking lot in August. And this red warning light has been saving engines from meltdowns since the dawn of liquid cooling systems. The earliest cars were air-cooled or used primitive cooling systems that basically amounted to hoping for the best, but as engines became more powerful and sophisticated, engineers realized that keeping them cool was slightly more important than hoping for favorable weather. Modern cooling systems are marvels of engineering with radiators,
motors, water pumps, thermostats, and sensors all working together like an automotive orchestra. Except when one instrument goes out of tune, the whole symphony turns into a cacophonous engine-destroying disaster. This warning means your engine temperature has climbed beyond the safe operating range, which is automotive speak for your engine is about to turn itself into modern art. The causes of overheating, read like a greatest hits album of cooling system failures, starting with low coolant levels because coolant has a mysterious ability to disappear at the worst possible moments, a stuck thermostat that's supposed to regulate coolant flow but has decided to become a permanent roadblock, a leaking radiator that's hemorrhaging coolant faster than you can add it, a failed water pump that's supposed to circulate coolant but has given up on life, or the dreaded blown head gasket that allows coolant and oil to mix in ways that would make a chemist weep. The fix requires immediate action because overheated engines have a nasty habit of warping cylinder heads and cracking engine blocks so stop driving and let everything cool down before you even think about opening the hood. Once cool, check the coolant level and top it up if it's low, but if the engine overheats again, after refilling, you need to get the cooling system pressure tested by a professional who can track down leaks and determine whether you're looking at a simple radiator repair or a catastrophic head gasket replacement that costs more than a small vacation. The low coolant warning emerged as cooling systems became more sophisticated and manufacturers realized that waiting until your engine overheats to tell you about coolant problems was like waiting until your house burns down to mention the smoke detector batteries were dead. Modern cars monitor coolant levels through sensors in the reservoir tank or radiator, triggering this warning when fluid drops below the minimum safe level. This light means your coolant has dropped below the safe operating mark, which sounds less threatening than overheating, but is actually your cooling system's way of saying it's living paycheck to paycheck, and one more expense away from complete failure. The causes are usually straightforward, but potentially expensive, including leaks from hoses, radiator, water pump, or other cooling system components that turn your driveway into a modern art installation of colorful puddles. A bad radiator cap that's supposed to maintain system pressure, but has developed trust issues, or simply evaporated coolant, because even antifreeze isn't immune to the laws of physics. The fix starts with the obvious step of refilling the system with the correct type of coolant. Because mixing different coolant types is like creating a chemical experiment that your engine didn't volunteer for. But the real work comes in tracking down and fixing leaks quickly, because low coolant levels lead directly to overheating, which leads directly to expensive engine repairs that make grown mechanics cry. Battery and charging system warning. That little battery icon with plus and minus signs is your car's polite way of informing you that your electrical system has gone on strike, and this warning light has been keeping drivers from getting stranded since the dawn of automotive electrical systems. Back in the early days of motoring, cars used simple magneto-ignition systems that did need batteries, but as manufacturers started adding luxuries like electric starters and headlights, the humble car battery became as essential as gasoline itself. The charging system warning emerged when engineers realized that batteries don't magically refill themselves and that alternators occasionally decide to take unscheduled vacations. This light means your alternator isn't doing its job of keeping your battery charged, which is like having a paycheck that stops coming while your bills keep piling up. The causes are usually straightforward, but can range from embarrassingly simple to moderately expensive, starting with corroded or loose battery terminals that prevent electricity from flowing properly, which is like trying to drink through a clogged straw. You might have a slipping serpentine belt that's supposed to turn the alternator, but has become about as reliable as a politician's campaign promise, a failing alternator that's given up on generating electricity and decided to become an expensive paperweight, or a battery that's reached the end of its useful life and can no longer hold a charge like a bucket with holes in the bottom. The fix starts with the basics of checking and cleaning those battery connections because corrosion builds up like barnacles on a ship's hull, but if the terminals are clean and tight and the light stays on while the engine is running, you're probably looking at alternator replacement, which typically runs between $300 and $600, depending on whether your car was designed by engineers or sadists. Glow plug and preheat warning. That coil or squiggly line symbol is diesel territory, where engines need a little extra help getting started in cold weather and this warning light represents one of the fundamental differences between diesel and gasoline engines that most people never think about. Diesel engines don't use spark plugs because diesel fuel ignites through compression rather than sparks, but in cold weather, even compression isn't enough to get those heavy fuel molecules burning reliably. Enter the glow plug system, which was invented because diesel engines in winter can be more stubborn than a mule with commitment issues. Glow plugs are essentially tiny heating elements that warm up the combustion chamber 
chambers before and during startup, kind of like preheating an oven before baking cookies. Except the cookies are controlled explosions that make your car move. When you turn the key in a diesel vehicle, this light illuminates while the glow plugs heat up, which can take anywhere from a few seconds to half a minute depending on how cold it is and how old your glow plugs are. The causes of glow plug problems are usually related to age and wear, since glow plugs eventually burn out like light bulbs, though they can also be victims of faulty relays that control the heating system, bad sensors that can't figure out when glow plugs are needed, or wiring issues that prevent electricity from reaching the plugs in the first place. The fix involves replacing individual glow plugs that have given up the ghost, which isn't particularly expensive, but can be labor intensive if your engine designer decided to hide the plugs under half the engine components, or replacing the glow plug relay if the whole system has stopped working, though if the light starts flashing while driving, you need to scan for codes because that usually indicates fuel system problems that go way beyond simple glow plug replacement. Diesel particulate filter warning. That box with a dotted or mesh pattern inside is the environmental conscience of your diesel engine made manifest, and this relatively new warning light represents the automotive industry's ongoing battle between performance and emissions compliance. The DPF system emerged in the mid-2000s when environmental regulations demanded that diesel engines stop spewing black smoke like industrial chimneys, so engineers invented a sophisticated filter system that traps soot particles and periodically burns them off in a process that sounds like automotive self-cleaning but is actually quite complex. The diesel particulate filter sits in your exhaust system, collecting all the tiny soot particles that diesel engines naturally produce, kind of like a lint trap in your dryer, except it deals with microscopic carbon particles instead of belly button fuzz. This warning means your DPF is clogged with soot and needs to go through a regeneration cycle, which is automotive speak for burning off all that accumulated crud at temperatures hot enough to melt aluminum. The causes are usually related to driving habits rather than mechanical failures, because DPF systems are designed for highway driving where engines get hot enough for regular regeneration cycles, but short trips around town never let the system get hot enough to burn off the soot, which accumulates like dust bunnies under your bed. Failed sensors can also prevent the system from knowing when regeneration is needed, and problems with fuel injectors or turbochargers can create excessive soot production that overwhelms the filter's capacity. The fix often starts with the simplest solution of taking your diesel on a long highway drive at sustained speeds to trigger a regeneration cycle, because sometimes the cure for modern automotive complexity is old-fashioned Italian tune-up methods, but if the filter stays clogged, you're looking at professional cleaning services that use specialized equipment or complete filter replacement that can cost more than a mortgage payment. Hybrid and EV system warning. That car outline with an exclamation point or battery icon represents the cutting edge of automotive anxiety, because when electric motors and high voltage systems throw tantrums, the solutions often require specialized knowledge that makes traditional mechanics look like cavemen discovering fire. Hybrid and electric vehicle warning systems are the newest kids on the automotive block, emerging as manufacturers realized that combining gasoline engines with electric motors creates exponentially more ways for things to go wrong. These systems monitor everything from battery pack temperatures to inverter operation to motor cooling circuits because high voltage electrical systems are less forgiving than traditional mechanical components and have a nasty habit of failing in expensive and spectacular ways. This warning means something serious has gone wrong in your hybrid or electric drivetrain, which could be anything from high voltage battery degradation that reduces your electric range to inverter failures that prevent the electric motor from working properly to cooling system problems that can cause the whole hybrid system to shut down for self-preservation. The causes read like a science fiction novel gone wrong, including high voltage battery packs that develop internal faults and lose their ability to store energy efficiently, power inverters that convert DC battery power to AC motor power but decide to stop speaking the same electrical language, electric motor cooling systems that overheat and trigger protective shutdowns, or software glitches that confuse the hybrid control modules into thinking the world is ending. The fix almost always requires a trip to a dealership or shop certified to work on high voltage systems, because DIY repairs on hybrid and electric vehicles can result in electrocution or fire, and most independent mechanics treat high voltage systems like radioactive materials, which means you're often looking at dealer service rates that make traditional automotive repairs seem reasonable by comparison. Transmission system warning. That gear icon or the dreaded transmission text message is your car's way of politely informing you that the most expensive part of your drivetrain has developed trust issues issues, and this warning light represents every car owner's worst financial nightmare wrapped up in a convenient dashboard symbol. The transmission warning system emerged when automatic transmissions
Americans became sophisticated enough to monitor their own health, which was both a blessing and a curse because ignorance was bliss when it came to transmission problems. Modern transmissions are controlled by computers that monitor everything from fluid temperature to shift quality and when something goes wrong, they're programmed to protect themselves by going into what's called limp mode, which is automotive speak for your car deciding to drive like a geriatric turtle to prevent further damage. This warning means your transmission has detected a problem serious enough to warrant immediate attention, which could be anything from low fluid levels to complete internal failure that turns your transmission into a very expensive boat anchor. The causes range from simple maintenance issues to catastrophic internal failures, starting with low or dirty transmission fluid that's supposed to lubricate and cool everything, but has turned into something resembling chocolate syrup, faulty solenoids that control shift timing, but have decided to become unreliable middle managers, overheating from towing too much weight or climbing too many mountains, or internal wear that creates metal shavings floating around like automotive glitter in your transmission pan. The fix depends entirely on what's actually wrong, starting with checking fluid levels and condition because transmission fluid should be bright red and smell slightly sweet, not brown, and smell like burnt toast, but if the fluid looks and smells normal and the light stays on, you're probably looking at internal repairs that cost anywhere from $1,500 to $4,000, which is why transmission problems make grown adults consider trading in their cars for bicycles. And that's the lineup of lights you really don't want to see glowing back at you. If this video saved you from panic, or at least gave you the courage to tighten your gas cap with confidence, make sure to hit the subscribe button so I can give you the most chad car explanations on YouTube. Check out the video on screen for more, and drop a comment below on what's the worst warning light you've ever had come on. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.